Hello and one and all and welcome back to another movie review, my first one of the year. <laughs> and this time I shall be reviewing a spy comedy. Probably the most well-known one, <laughs> released in 1997, and that is Austin Powers' International Man of Mystery. Uh, which is directed by uh, J. R. Um, o. R. O. A. C. H. I'm not the best pronunciationist. I've said this before, but oh well. Um, and you, of course, have Mike Myers, not Michael Myers. Thank you. As uh, Austin Powers himself, and of course, does play the voice of Doctor Evil. Then you, of course, have other actors in here, like Elizabeth um, Harley, um, Seth Green, uh, Michael York, and many others, which I'm not going to get into, because it will take all day. And this will contain some spoilers, guys, so if you've not seen um, the first Austin Powers, um, you've been warned. Um, let's get into the... If you don't care, welcome anyway. So I've been wanting to do some movie reviews for some different movies after thinking about my plans for 2024 video. Um, and here we are. Um, so if you guys follow me on my channel, I review the James Bond movies, um, the Matt Damon, uh, Jason Bourne movies, and the Mission Impossible series. So I thought, why not, um, why not bring some more spy stuff in here onto my YouTube channel? And hey, Austin Powers is probably one of the most well-known. You have other ones out there like Kingsman and Johnny English. But I think Austin Powers is the one I think I should start off with, particularly just the first film anyway. And I have an absolute ball with Austin Powers. Um, international man of mystery. This is either this or the second does the best one, I think. Um, I only just own the first one, but I particularly love the opening scene where um, you see, you know, um, Austin Powers in this sort of parade wearing his blue outfit. Do 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 do. You know, it's just pure greatness. And then you, of course, have Dr. Evil, who is the um, spoof on Ernst Stavro Blofeld. Um, who is really good in here. One million dollars. You know, it's just so great to see him. He's probably my favorite character in the movie, I think. Then you, of course, have um, Joe Sun, who plays Oddjob. Yeah, literally just called Objob. Basically, Objob from the Bond films, just Goldfinger. So, regards to James Bond, Austin Powers pretty much parodies mainly the Sean Connery era. And looking at Bond films, this came out in the same year as um, Tomorrow Never Dies. Well, all the Austin Powers movies, I think, came out in the same year as... Um, the last three Pierce Brosnan Bond films, but anyway, uh, you of course have um, Will Farrow in here, um, who plays Mustafa, if that's how you pronounce his character's name. Um, you know, he's funny in the movie. You know, you know Will Farrow can't go wrong with him. And then you have a cameo of um, Carrie Fisher. Carrie Fisher, who we all know and love and miss, still to this day. You know, she's great in that scene that she's in. And I'm not going to get into this movie um, too much. It's just a movie um, that I just want to talk about briefly. And just to tell you um, that this movie um, certainly um, should be watched, especially if you're a James Bond fan or a spy fan in general, or you like comedies, because a lot of people like comedies, I, I know. 
you know, it's a good um, 94 um, minute film that flies by and you can just enjoy yourself, have a laugh. You know, you've got uh, some good characters here and there. And yeah, there you go. That was my review on Austin Powers International Man of Mystery. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think of this movie. Let me know below in the comments. Let's have a great discussion down there. Um, as always, if you're new to my channel, please feel free to comment, like, subscribe, share this video, and notify that bell before you leave. And as always, until my next video, I shall see you then, and peace. Groovy, baby.